EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, week 12 of the NFL season is upon us, and we've got a good one in store, as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the New York Giants. The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, you look at this Patriots defense. They've been pretty solid against the pass toward the middle of the pack number 14 in the NFL. I think if you talk to their head coach, you'll get a nice answer about how much he likes his team and what they're doing. But at the end of it, he would admit there's definitely room to improve. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six. Now Jones just going to bat this forward on the jet sweep. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. A nice play design there with the touch pass. Looked good at the start, but bottom line, the defense was ready. And they did a nice job scouting, didn't they? Not just scouting, but now executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. They drilled on the play, then they drilled him. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Now Jones. That is caught. And he will have a Giants first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. The Giants at four and seven now on the year. Now they were losers last time out, trying to turn things around here in this one. And it always helps to have a home crowd behind you, giving you encouragement as long as you give them something good to cheer about. So, you know, they just want to come out and play well for their faithful, and I expect them to do just that. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, this defense for the Pats, they were strong last week, CD, and that went over New England. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. A first down carry for Barkley. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 43, here's second down and five. Throwing Jones. That ball caught by Campbell. And they move this all the way down to the nine. It's a gain of 34. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't. But it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, it makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back. And that's a good first step. Here's second and goal operating from the eight-yard line. On 
On the option right, it's Jones. Another drive for Barkley, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley with his ninth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Giants get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Gano the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. Gets through and now an opening. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. Back to Stevenson on first down. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. You talk about this giant defense. They're in the spot statistically that you don't want to be in against the pass. Number 32 in the league, dead last. That was a nice play right there, but overall this season, it's been an absolute disaster. A total lack of communication on the back end. They need a leader who can put this team, this unit, on his shoulder pads and carry them to the right spots. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. come up on a second and seven from the 27. Looking to throw. Jones. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Back to throw. Jones completes this one to Thornton. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. you got to make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. Here's Stevenson, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Dexter Lawrence finding his way through defensively for the stop. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Off play action. Jones. They'll roll him out right. And he'll just get rid of it. Boy, that was lockdown coverage there. He's scanning for someone to come open. 
That was great work to blanket everyone. And in the end, he's just got to throw it away. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Juju Smith-Schuster, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Patriots are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing, going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Holmes going to opt against bringing it out, and they will begin at the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Now they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner, they can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Now a toss right to Barkley. Takes it to about the 37. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Here's Jones, looking to throw on second down. Open target here, Darius Slayton. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. I know we just saw a nice throwing catch, but how about the big guys up front they buying that time. time? Yeah, that's exactly what they did. They created time and allowed the space to happen, and it turned into a really nice play. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. He did have the touchdown run earlier, but not a heck of a lot more than that throughout this game. No, not at all. In fact, I would say that this defense has done as good of a job on him as they have on any runner in recent memory. From the 48-yard line, here's second down at seven. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Third and five. A handoff, Barkley running left, and this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven.
The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll run for it with Spiller. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. Touchdown, Giants! Paris Campbell, 28 yards. And the Giants have taken the lead. Extra point try, good by Gano. And that makes the score 14-7. to Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. After that last score we just saw, now 14-7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Looking to throw. Jones. He'll get this out wide here to Elliott. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes you just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw. Jones. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 23 yards on the play. A great job pulling that one in from a guy, as we know, who can really blaze. He's got a lot of speed. And that speed can work for him so many different ways. Sometimes he just takes off and goes and just runs past people. Sometimes you get people to back off so far that you can catch everything underneath. But still, at some point in the game, you probably have to make some contested catches, right? Sometimes you have to go up and beat a defender for the football. He has that in his arsenal as well. Showed it right there. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuck that one behind the line of scrimmage. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And once he escaped the pocket there, he tried to keep those eyes downfield, but nothing was materializing. So he makes a smart move and gets that to the sideline. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive.
Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. But now there is a penalty marker on the field. So let's see what this is about. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Gano out to kick this one away. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. The Pats at the line ready to go. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. That's a tough spot for a running back coming out of the backfield because you know he's got to look for the football. Knowing full well, he's got a man coming his way full steam, and he broke that one up. Now a second and ten. To throw again, Jones. That one complete to Parker. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. They run once more with Stevenson. Fights him off. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. And on third and inches, we're going to get a whistle and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Here comes third in the length of the football. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because 
They handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And the Giants are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And their defense just helped them out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. First downs have not come easy and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Operating from the gun, Jones. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch, I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. 52 yards on the ground for him so far. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Second and a couple. And they'll send the tight end in motion. On second down, Spiller looking for space. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. The toss out to Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here, second and 11. Back to throw, Jones. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Paris Campbell with his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are able to extend their lead. Gano the extra point, and that makes it a 21-10 game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. But not an ideal way to end their previous drive. They threw the interception, Charles, after they had built up some momentum. They were moving the football, but something to at least build on for this offense as they run back out here. Yeah, you're right about that. Up until that last play, everything was working pretty well for this offense, gaining chunks of yardage, getting first downs, really making a push for the end zone, and looked like they had a nice rhythm going. Now you got to have a short memory here. 
Don't focus on the interception. Focus on what came before it and get back to it. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again, Jones. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Maybe just a lack of concentration there as he couldn't haul it in. And when you're going across the middle like that, you know, he's running that drag route, you are conscious of all the bodies and the traffic in there. But let's face it, if you're going there, you might as well come down with the football and absorb whatever else happens after that. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Well, you got to think, Charles, that one's on the quarterback because everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout called if you have one. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And that's what friends are for. <laughs> right. As, as the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Right now, everything they touch turns to gold. This is their fourth possession. Touchdowns on their first three possessions. I mean, this defense, they can't seem to stop them. It's like they're on skates. Great analogy, Brandon, because they are pushing them back and winning everything at the line of scrimmage. They've just been laying down tracks towards the opposite end zone. So to themselves, all they're saying is, if we don't make a mistake, there's no way they can stop us. Two yards to go, second down. Running left, it's Barkley. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. They'll give him four yards there. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. Third down and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And good work there in open space. And he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 65 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. We've got them now. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Got a man open. It's Darren Waller. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 21. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is, first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. The offense on third down tonight, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. They only got two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Giants look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Extra point try, good by Gano. And the lead is up to 18 now. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Pats at the line ready to go. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there, and trailing big here in this fourth quarter. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he gets it up past the 35. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, 
Oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Off the play fake, Jones. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Credit that to the former Georgia Bulldog, Aziz Ojolari, getting in there to bring him down. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. He's going to let it fly. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Giants are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And right about now, heck, they might be wishing they did not have a bye week coming up next week. It appears they're going to go into that week off in high spirits as they've got this one well in hand. And great blocking downfield as he's got this almost to the 35-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out. So for the Giants, their very slim playoff hopes get a boost as they move to 5-7. And, and they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for New England, their luck may have run out as they fall to 4-7 and seven now in the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.